So to start out with, I'm going to trace the outline of the blade that I want to make scales for. Now that I have the outline drawn, I'm going to rough out, kind of freehand some scales. Here's the red G10 I'm going to make the scales out of. It's about a hundred thousandths of an inch thick. I'm putting some masking tape on the G10 so it'll be easier to draw on it. I'm using some carbon paper to do the transfer to the G10. Now I'm just going over the lines a little better so I'll be able to see them when I'm at the bandsaw cutting them out. And here I am cutting them out. It's just a regular 14 inch woodworking bandsaw with a regular quarter inch steel bandsaw blade. Now that I got the first blank cut out, I'll flip it over to make a mirror image and I'm going to trace it on the masking tape and then cut it out.
And now that I got both halves cut out, I'm going to use this double sided scotch tape to stick them together for the shaping and drilling processes. Now I'm just roughing them out, making both shapes exactly the same size. And now I'm locating where I want to drill the holes for the uh, pins. I lined up the pivot with where the first pin is going to be and I'm drawing where the blade's going to going to go. And right after this step I took it to the drill press and drilled the holes but I forgot to press record on the camera so so here it is after drilling the holes for the pins and I'm using a little finer grain, grain sandpaper refining the shape a little more So now I'm lining up the pivot with the first pin hole and I'm scribing where the blade is going to be on the inside of the scales. I separated the scales. And now I'm using a carbide scribe to scribe where the end of the blade is going to be. And here I am measuring the thickness of the blade so I'll know how thick to make the wedge. So there's the wedge material, the paper micarta. I line it up on the scribe line I made. I flip it over, I draw the outline, and I draw where the hole needs to be drilled. There I am drilling the hole. I kind of wallow out this hole a little bit to give it just a little bit of slop. Then I'm cutting it out on the bandsaw and I'm cutting to the outside of the lines leaving it a little big. There's the disc grinder. I grind one side to get rid of the glossiness and to make sure it's perfectly flat. 
I flip it over. I'm putting more pressure on the tail end of the wedge to make it tapered shape. And I'm grinding it and as soon as I get that whole surface flat I'm going to measure it and see if it's the right thickness. And I lucked out. It came out right the first time. So I'm turning the motor off and just doing a little bit of sanding with the motor turned off just to ensure that the wedge is perfectly flat on both sides. And here I am gluing it up. It's a uh, medium viscosity super glue and I have the front of the razor already pinned together or mock pinned together. I line it up with the scribe line I scribed earlier. Now with a pin running through both sides of the bar, both ends of the razor, I'll put a spring clamp on and let it dry. And there's the razor. I pinned the pinned that end of it. And now I'm going to sand the excess wedge material off down flush with the scales. This razor is textured on the outside. I'll save the texturing process for another video. And there's the completed razor and scales put together. Thank you. Bye-bye.